In some cases, you may want to constrain your objects by setting a limit for how far they can move. In our case, we have a base block that is 5 inches long. We have another part that's 2 inches long that we've already mated and aligned to our other part. We want to set a distance so that this orange block can move along the top surface to the outside corners. To do that, we can now create a new dimension just using our standard annotation tools and our smart dimension. We can create a dimension from our face to our other face just like we would typically do. And we can now double click on that to lock that dimension. And you'll see a new option, one that says set limits. This will allow you to set the overall limit that that object can move. Its current value is 1.645, but we want to move it from 0 to the full total distance, which in our case is 5, minus the length of our block, which, is, which will give us a value of 3, and we'll hit OK. And you'll see a new dimension that's displayed for you. To actually see this in action, just go to your Tools Mechanism mode, and we have our base block, block fixed, so that when we drag this, you'll see that it'll stop at 0, and it'll stop at the distance of 3, so it allows us to travel this complete distance, but it can be freely moved anywhere along this edge during this mechanism. That's a new limit dimension behavior that you can now use.